Ah, oh, yes. The kittens of nature. Playing majestically in the night. There was a baby possum out here. It was uh, trying to eat out of the empty bowls. I was trying to be nice and give it some food. Unfortunately, the baby possum got scared off into the darkness of night. And all that are left are the kittens. I was kind of hoping the possum would come back. It was pretty funny because the possum was actually smaller than the kittens. He was walking around here like, hey guys, I'm a kitten too. Look at me. But, um, as I said, unfortunately, our possum friend gallivanted off into the night. We still have some kittens. Hello, little kitten. Coming up pretty close to me. That's a good sign. Haven't been able to pet them yet. It's okay. <sighs> yes, one of these kittens seems to be the bravest of the bunch. However, also the most fierce, ferocious, aggressive. Smacks the other kittens on the head when they try to eat. It's like, no, this is my food. the mama cat. The mama cat Dusty. She is possibly the mother of Theo. The feral that was taken in and taken care of. Not too sure, honestly. The, uh, the cat lineage out here has gotten kind of weird. It all stems from one black cat who we had dubbed Little Midnight. Little Midnight, along with her possible brother. Uh, I think his name was Big Black. He was just a really big black cat. Uh, well, not very creative names, I know. Anyway, Little Midnight had kittens, lots and lots of kittens. I believe uh, one of the batches we had called uh, Gray Boots, as it was a gray cat with white boots. Uh, we had named the black and white one Chubbs. He liked to sit inside of the food dishes and eat. Kind of like that possum, actually. Maybe that's the spiritual incarnation of Chubbs. Or maybe it's just a uh, baby possum who's been taught the, the value, the valor of sitting in your food as you ate. It's unclear. We may never know the mysteries of nature. trying to think here. I think Little Midnight may have also had the uh, Tabby Trio. I got some of them in a, in a previous video somewhere on the channel. The Tabby Trio. The, uh, the ruffian of the Tabby Trio was uh, Mr. Meeseeks, we had named him. You know, big, big old, big old Rick and Morty fans, kinda, maybe. Mr. Meeseeks was uh, the staunch protector of the feral community at the time. Uh, there was his brother we had named Malcolm. And then there was the female Meeseek. No, not Meeseek, the female tabby trio. The female of the trio, which was, uh, I believe we called that cat Anime. Anime may have died. That's probably what the cat skeleton was, to be honest, but it was. There, were, there was a. Anyway, long story short, a cat had died out here somewhere, and uh, I found its remains, but it was really, really decomposed, so, um, nothing too identifiable. But it was in the area that the anime liked to go, so, you know. Anime had some kittens, a uh, couple kittens. I'm trying to remember if Luna and Marshmallow 
because Luna was from a previous iteration, and it, Luna might have been one of Little Midnight's kittens. Wasn't there another gray cat that I'm forgetting about? Did he get named? Hmm. I believe there was an all gray cat. Like there was, oh, it's the baby possum. The baby possum is back, everybody. Oh my God, that baby possum is adorable. No, don't go away. Come back. Come back, little baby possum. Oh. No, he's so, so fucking adorable. Just want to pet him. <laughs> I was looking out here and I was like, is that a, is that just a, a giant rat just eating out of the bowls? And then when its face looked up, I was like, oh, it's just an adorable possum. It's just hanging out back here. That's awesome. Sometimes we get the occasional giant ass possum. That's probably one of its babies. And, uh, and then there's the raccoons. The raccoons are awesome too. And there was one night I came out here with a Joker makeup on and I was, I was sitting here just sort of hanging out and a possum came up right there. Right basically to where those kittens were eating right where I was sitting and the possum stood up on its hind legs and it looked me in the eyes and it started making like odd jittery noises like it was trying to talk I guess and then I realized oh shit I think this possum thinks that I'm a oh, no I'm sorry this raccoon thinks that I'm a raccoon is the really big fucking raccoon, I guess. Obviously, I do not know how to speak the uh, dialects of his people. And so, the raccoon decided to uh, get the fuck out of Dodge. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how, uh, how funny it is when raccoons, like, pick up food with their little hands and run away on their hind legs? That's, that's pretty funny, right? Fun fact, raccoons, you know, there was a while there we were wondering why the dirty, uh, like why the water would get dirty so fast. And it turned out, we learned that uh, raccoons actually try to wash their food. It's crazy, they, they, they take a handful of food and just start dipping it in water. Uh, but yes, as for Theodore, Theo, he, um, he's a bit of a mystery. We're not quite sure which litter he might have been from, because anime had a litter of kittens. Uh, they all died really early, I guess. I don't think they were very healthy. Usually, um, usually there's a couple kittens missing from the litters each time. And I assume that it's kind of a similar case where they were just too unhealthy. Uh, one of the possible factors is that we haven't been able to get all of these cats neutered. Some of them have been, primarily the, the female cats, because they kept getting pregnant and we were a little concerned if, you know, if there's like five female cats out here popping out litters of, you know, four or five kittens at a time. And who knows how many females in that group. Plus, the boys were a lot harder to catch for some reason. All except for one. One male cat that kept coming through here and trying to impregnate. And he wasn't even from, like, I guess the den. The kitten den, the cat den. He was just some fucking vagabond. <laughs> just comes over here from who knows where. Starts trying to get it on. Uh, we called him Tarmy, Tarmy Crooks. Um, he was the only one to get caught twice. He got caught, he got neutered, he got set free, and he came back and got caught again. And uh, we never really understood why he was so dumb. It's pretty dumb, right? Hello, little kitten. How you doing? Oh, it's okay. He's okay. Come over and eat. Mama has some food. 
Oh. I'm trying to get them used to my voice so that they won't be so scared and you can see that it's okay to come over and eat. Eh, they can't help it, it's their instincts and it helps keep them alive. It's admirable, really. The way animals function, the things they can learn and adapt to. It's very insightful for people. You'll notice a lot of tribalism with animals. And tribalism can be so pronounced with people. People take comfort in things like them. And that is one of the great ways that we are divided as humans. Uh, it's unfortunate. Sad, really. How similar we all are, fundamentally. And yet, there's always some dividing factor, even for me. But yeah, these uh, these kittens eat well. Try to keep them. Oh, really, all the cats out here. It's fucking hard. Try to keep them fed. Make sure they have clean water and relatively taken care of. I, 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 don't, I can't imagine there's too many dangers out here. There might have been a might have been a coyote in the backyard the other night. That was pretty fun. it was it was really fast and it was dark you know the night is dark and full of terrors after all terrors of the unknown hello dusty coming to eat some food dusty were you one of the little midnight's kittens i think so oh okay you're gonna walk away great thanks good talk dusty good talk I wonder why they're all hanging out right in that one spot. Hopefully this will get them acclimated to the presence of me so that I might pet these adorable bastards of kittens. I did actually get a chance to pet two of them. There was a kind of like a bush. Well, it wasn't really a bush. It was um, not exactly an aloe vera plant but it kind of reminded me of one. It had these big old, long, like, uh, how would I explain this? Like, imagine a really flat boat. That's what the leaves kind of look like. And there was a lot of them. And uh, the kittens were hiding under it. So I went over there with some gloves and I, I lifted up the leaves and they were looking at me and they were all tiny. I gave them little pets. Although they sure do like to play in the garden. That's kind of a problem. 